and see where we are. So if I go with the white-red strategy, the curve actually is pretty good here. And I've got 18 cards playable, so I only need five more. That's not bad. And white is white is definitely low in the priority. I'm, I'm very much a red deck here. Spl probably splashing white, although it's a heavy splash for both of the angels. Lumbering Falls doesn't get in this deck. Titan's Presence, I don't have a lot of use for that. Volcanic Upheaval is bad. Sheer Drop's good. Sheer Drop's removal. I'm going to take Sheer Drop here. Uh, Swell of Growth isn't bad. Rot Shambler's not bad either. But I think Sheer Drop's what I need to take here. It's removal and it can be a creature. So, where I might start cutting is I might cut the Cliffside Lookout, if it comes to that. The Sanctum to Ugin isn't good. There's some decent blue in here. Horribly right, Clutch of Currents, Rush of Ice. The black's good, the, the green's bad. Natural Connection is the only green card I like in this pack. Um, this one here, I think I take Reckless Cohort. I think the keep on 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 the on the red plan because if it gets good enough, I can always cut just the white and be a monocolored deck, which is a lot easier to play and a lot better to play. So reckless cohort plus reckless cohort triggers the fire mantle mage, the chasm guide, the and the Andu champion. So that could be good. Kozlik Sentinel is probably not as good as it should be in this deck. Um, I don't have a lot of colorless spells I'm casting. It looks like one, two, three, four total, counting itself, which you really can't count. Uh, removal, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is interesting. I could take the Retreat to Valakut, Belligerent Whiptail, which isn't that good, the Fortified Rampart, which could block off the ground pretty well, or Looming Spires. Um, I think the Retreat's better. Plus, it can make one of my guys big enough that you can't really deal with it. Um, it's not a great retreat. I like the white retreat better. If I saw one of those, I'd snap it up immediately. But I'm going to take that one. Um, Mandiki Patrol. Another Mandiki Patrol is not bad. It's another creature. Um, Blue's got another Clutch Occurrence. Whoever's got the blue deck right now is going to be bouncing everything. I think Mandiki Patrol is just a little bit better because, again, it triggers the, it's an ally trigger and it gives everything vigilance. Um, I think we're more red white. Oh, and Fire Mantle Mage seems really good here. Um, another Stone Fury wouldn't be bad. Filed Archive for the sideboard, although it's fine as a creature itself. Maybe we just don't care so much about their stuff and we just go ham with it. Um, oh, sold. Are you kidding? This is an amazing pick this late. Retreat to Emeria is wonderful because not only, now we are solidly in, and I might even consider now cutting Kozlik Sentinels and the Vestige of Embercool to just pull more allies and more removal. Because now I'm triggering allies with pretty much everything. This retreat is amazing. Um, Volcanic Upheaval's bad. Angelic Gift doesn't get in this deck. There's a decent black deck going around. I think... Hmm. 
Oh, Narcana Na Assassin's probably better. But I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to do Great Horn. Um, late game, the Valkyrie Invoker's better. Oh, I'm cutting. What am I cutting here? I'm cutting Vestige. Um. I think Valkyrie Invoker, but I'm not sure I'm playing two. We'll see. I'm certainly not playing three. Um, but I'm definitely taking it to add the sideboard. Crumble to Dust is bad. Inspired Charge, that can that can be a blowout. That actually can be really good in this deck. I'm going to put it in here for now. Uh, Fortified Ramparts is hard to deal with. Another Valkyrie Invoker. It's going to be nothing but the Valkyrie Invoker deck. So I need to cut, make three cuts here. Um, I think Retreat to Valkyrie's not that good in this deck. I think only one Mandiki Slide Runner is needed. Um, do I have anything? I mean, Spires is going to get in this deck. I kind of like Vestige. Let's, let's group these separately. So we have seven spells, and it's one, two, three, four, five removal, the retreat, and then Inspire Charge, which Inspire Charge, because I'm playing so many creatures, is really good in this deck. Um, oh, I really I like this deck. This deck's good. Um, is Fortified Rampart really what we're trying to do here? Not really. This could be our 23. This is, this is really good because a lot of this is instant removal. There's two sorcery removals, an instant removal, and this can be removal. Menace, Trample, uh, the Undo Champion is kind of awkward. Um, I can always, and again, ally triggers. This angel isn't an ally, but the landfall is very much relevant because it gets back creatures. I put this out on the field, it gets back creatures. I don't have a lot of things to get, um, to ramp up to it, so it's definitely a late game, it's a late game play. A Resolute Blade Master here would have been amazing. Um, that's the one that gives, whenever an ally enters the field, uh, everything gets double strike. Um, that would have been amazing. Uh, so maybe I cut... I don't know that Mandiki Slide Runner is all that good for this deck, necessarily. I can always put a third Valkyrie Invoker in for that Mindiki Slide Runner. But that raises my curve, and I kind of want to make this a little more aggressive. Because I've got four four drops. Chasm Guy gives haste. I wish I had. I can literally almost go mono red with this deck if I wanted to. But I don't because Retreat to Emeria is super good. That's going to get me core allies, which trigger all my ally triggers. Um, God, that, that is so good in this deck. And even if they remove the retreat, I can bring it back. 
and put the retreat on the out on the battlefield. This could be a bomb. This could be a bomb. Oh man. I'm actually really liking this deck this way. Uh, Looming Spires does get in. Inspired Charge is just good in this deck because of this is definitely a creature heavy deck, especially with the retreat. Um, so I can do a lot of damage with that. That can be a blowout if, and this can get there as well. Uh, retreat, Devalicut. I think this is our deck. Let's see what it says here. Nine, seven. That'd be ten, seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That seems about right. More double red than anything else. Three double red, it looks like. And two double white. I think that seems good. Um, curve looks pretty good. Um, wish I was triggering this a little more for Cozy Sentinel, but I'm not. Um, I'm actually not triggering it at all here. <sighs> that makes me want to put in and Nikki Slide Runner's not good. That makes me want to put in the third Valkut Invoker and take out Mindy, uh, take out one of the Kozlik Sentinels. I think that's good. I think that's a good deck. Um, yeah, I like this. This is a white-red ally deck. With some nice little flavor stuff thrown in there. All right, so I'm submitting this. I think we're good to go. So that's my deck. Seems good. I'm going to do... Bear with me just a second here. I have to play Geocaster for right now. Um, I'm going to do a screen cap of this. And get to see. Snipping to him. All right, so new. So that's my main deck. I'll keep that up so we can look at it if need be. Zoom. There we go. So you can see it a little better. So now what do I call this? Well, allies all up in here. Properties. Allies galore. Um, all up in here. Uh, ally up in here. There we go. Ally up in here. That'll be the name of our thing here. So I'm going to take just a quick little break before we get going here with... Uh, with this, with this uh, match, because it should be starting here in a couple minutes. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go on a quick little break. And go to YouTube. 